reach into my pocket. Read to him the 29th scroll. Sixth verse. Beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn. Alone among God's primates, he kills for sport, or lust, or greed. Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make a desert of his home and yours. Shun him. Drive him back into his jungle lair, for he is the harbinger of death. I found nothing in the cave to alter that conception of man, and I still live by its injunction. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and to the elders of the great millstone that rule well. And as always, I want to give a sincere Shalom to the house of David, the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And uh, what you just saw was a clip from uh, one of my favorite movies, The First Planet of the Apes. All right, and what they basically did was... Uh, they read the scriptures, okay? Those scrolls were, 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 were uh, re in representation of the holy scriptures, okay? And what they were doing was revealing Esau Edom, okay? The son of perdition, all right? And the son of perdition is being revealed in his time, as it says in the holy scriptures, man. All right? We're getting ready to see these uh, prophecies come to pass. We're getting ready to see great judgment on the planet Earth, uh, primarily against the nation of Edom. All right. So it's our job as uh, prophets to keep prophesying the downfall of this society and revealing the son of perdition. But at the same time, having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, you know, being a faithful servant. OK, now, as you can see from the thumbnail, we have two uh, two of the elite bankers. All right. Uh, Rothschild and uh, and Rockefeller. Okay, and everything starts with with those elites. Okay, everything starts with the elite of Esau Edom, because the elites are the ones that's really uh, pulling the strings, man. Okay, the elites are the ones that's really pulling the strings. So, um, of course, as always, you know, we uh, we get the scripture that's uh, pursuant to the title, because the title. A lot of times comes from the scriptures. All right. So this is Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Okay. And that man of sin is Esau Edom starting with his elites. Okay. Starting with those Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, etc. Okay. The sons of the wicked. All right, because we always mention that there's three class classifications of men, okay? The the sons of the righteous, the sons of man, and the sons of the wicked, okay? And Esau Edom is, is the sons of the wicked, so in his time, he shall be revealed. The whole world is starting to wake up to the fact that he's an Edomite, okay? And he can't take it. He doesn't he doesn't want his, his, his uh, biblical name to be placed upon him. So what does he do? He sends out counter groups. He, he, he labels you on his project Megiddo, okay? He tries to demonize you with his media, etc. But guess what? It's not going to work because nothing's going to... Uh, this thing is of if, this thing is of the most high, okay? This agenda, the Hebrew Israelites you see standing on the four corners of the earth teaching that we are the people of the most high, um, it, it, it can't be stopped, okay? Because it's prophecy, all right? So verse... Verse 4, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is of the Most High. And that's why he tries to clone people. That's why he puts chemtrails in the air. Okay, that's why when you die, he tries to uh, take certain parts of your brain and program it into another person. Okay? He's trying to do everything to make himself equal to the Most High. I'm talking about the Caucasian race, you Edomites, starting with your elites. Okay? 
you think you're going to upset the prophecies, but the Most High made your foolish ass, man. All right? It says, remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things. <clears throat> and now ye know, and now ye, Salakia, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And what's the time? Esau has never been revealed how he's being revealed now, man. He's never been revealed on this type of level. Okay? But guess what? It, it, it's, uh, it's time to fulfill the prophecies, man. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. All right? And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Okay? Whom the Lord shall destroy with the spirit of his mouth. All right? And like we said, that's the prophets. That's the men of the Lord. And how do we prove that? One of my favorite scriptures I always go to. Okay, who the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Because, because he's, uh, he's being uh, consumed by fire, which is this word. All right, Luke 1 and 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So the Lord speaks through the mouth of his prophets, man. He's consuming the wicked through the, through the mouth of his prophets. That we should be saved from our enemies and from all... And from the hand of all them that hate us. And that's starting with the uh, elite banker families, man. The ones who plot against us. The ones who uh, came together with one consent, like it says in Psalms. All right? So as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, man. All right? So that, that, uh, that son, that's, uh, Salaki, the son of perdition, is being revealed. <clears throat> Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So, you know, like I always say, one of the main attributes you got to have in this knowledge is patience, man. Though it tarry, wait for it. The vision is yet for an appointed time. So the Lord got a certain time period when he's going to when He's gonna um, come destroy this place and take this man down. All right? We skip to verse 5. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. Who enlarge of his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Because Esau Edom, he can't be satisfied, man. That's why he wants to chip you, even though he has everything in the world, all the riches, all the gold, all the silver, all the wealth. He still wants to put a chip in you because he cannot be satisfied. He's the most proud nation on the planet Earth, man. All right. He's the beast, man. <laughs> He's the beast man, soon to be destroyed. Job 21 and 30, that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. So guess what? The wicked is, is specifically served, reserved to the day of destruction, man. Proverbs 16 and 4, the Lord have made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand, join, though hand join in hand, he shall not go unpunished. So who's the most proud nation on the planet? What does it say in Obadiah? The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. All right. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. So we're going to play this clip one more time. And Lord willing, your brothers be edified for the sake of, uh, for the sake of time. You know, I'm at work on my small break. So Ginger, my coffee. Read to him the 29th scroll, 6th verse. Beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn. Alone among God's primates, he kills for sport, or lust, or greed. Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make a desert of his home and yours. Shun him. Drive him back into his jungle lair. For he is the harbinger of death. The harbinger of death, man. And that's Esau Edom. <laughs> Shalom.